god, shit! Oh god, what? <clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to Catherine, an indie horror survival game in which we're playing in a pixelated adventure of trying to find five memories to figure out what happened 40 years ago. This game is made by Degeneracy, and it's their first game, at least on Game Jolt, and I'm giving it a try. So, let's begin. Apparently, it's random generated, or every level is different every time, or something along those lines. We're just trying to find photos on the ground, figuring out exactly why my character is being tormented. This game is very similar to other games that are, you know, like the first person, pixelated horror games, which you had to try to collect things, figure out what happened and why. So this is the same as any other kind of first person pixelated horror game, which you had to collect notes and all that kind of stuff. But the issue, or not issue really, Every time, like, I played this game just for a little tiny bit, and you're being chased by this creepy white face thing. If you die and you're caught, the game completely crashes. Deliberately, of course. Oh, and these hallways repeat, so you don't usually know where you are. If you go down a straight hallway, you don't know where you're going. It just continuously loops. Um, but yeah, I, I'm scatterbrained again. But either way, the point what I was trying to say is, here we go, memory. You have to be careful. God damn it, the face. It's When it gets you, the game crashes deliberately, and that, that may cause some problems in terms of recording. Ah, shit, wait, is this... So well, that's one other thing I wanted to bring up. It's like, I played this game... It... Basically, I found this. It literally has my old username I used to go by. M-O-U-N-C-E, Mounts. I have no idea why the game figured out, or not figured out, but how does it know and how did it get my name, my old username? I don't use it anymore. Like, I'm Nico. I'm Nico on Steam. I'm Nico in username. I'm GameJolt. I wanted to figure out where it got Mounts from, because that is my old username. I, I just find it a little peculiar. I'm guessing it takes the username, writes it on the game wall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run! There it is! Fuck it! No, 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 no. Okay. I apologize ahead in advance. I, there's a bunch of things new to here, like me getting not only chased, but I finally got the lighting fixed up in this room. Let's go in here. Why not? Shit, no, this is the same. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I got my lighting fixed up so my face is nice and bright as it always should have been in this room that is like lit up, but it's not lit up apparently around my face. Eh, let's go this way. Fuck it. Holy shit. There's no audio, so it's just going to be kind of odd in this game. But I wanted to give the game a chance, because I know it wasn't worth a 1 in freaking Game Jolt. Someone just, like, came and just rated the game a 1. It's like, wait, why? This game doesn't deserve a 1. I've played plenty of pixelated horror games, and... I mean, this is a similar caliber. It's got some work in uh, being... Bleh. It's got some work... Oh, shit. I have a TV. Great. TVs. Totally not haunted, totally. A bunch of it looks like it'd be porn or something. I don't know what that is. Looks like something from Silent Hill The Room. But after I saw this TV, this is like the one of the Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is one of the last things... Nice! When your camera distorts and you make that sound, you're either... I think it's your round of memory, so... Whew. Just a little stressful from goddamn being chased in this game, goddamn. Ugh. The first... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just gonna run. Camera distortions. It's like you're holding a, a videotape to see everything, but... I don't 100% get it. Oh, hey, look! We're back in the TV room. Play. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh-oh. Nope, we're running. We're running, fuck it. Nope, no. Nope. I was about to say. I played this game a few times just to figure out if it was, like, god damn it. If it was uh, a trustworthy game or if it really was, a, like like I was saying, it was rated a 1 on Game Jolt. And I didn't think a game could actually have, wait, what? Oh, oh. It, like, if a game would actually have earned a rating such as that. So I gave it a few tries. But I kept dying almost instantly at the start, and there was a portion of the game that was uh, 
led me outside. It was really weird because I was chasing a hand crawling on the floor or something. It was very strange, to at least say at the very least. Aha! Alright. Memory number four. We're doing good. I think I know where the last one might be. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Shit! What? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's too dark. Alright, I am back. Apparently, the game... Uh-oh, wait, this is... Yeah, this is the hallway room. Nope! I'm running this way. Even though it's the dead-end hallway. It's like, there's a hallway in this game that... Like, I'm walking down a hallway. I'm literally walking. It looks like I'm not moving. Which is the truth. It's like a never-ending hallway, and then when you go backwards, sort of like Super Mario 64. And when you go back... My name's on the wall, and... I, I don't know. It's just kind of fucked up. Boop. It won't open. I really want to know how the fuck I get back to the room that leads outside. Ah, the TV shit again. I know there's a table here, and I know it has a note on it, or a picture of memory, but it's not there yet until I watch this TV. Great. So there's a, a conundrum I'm trying to think about. I think when you collect all five memories in this game, the light in the room you're in breaks. And you basically are cut off of all your vision. I literally stopped playing the game. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought it was the creature chasing me again. I get a little tense when it comes after me. Because I don't want the game crashing. I really don't. I right, what's this way? Is it to lead to the TV room? No. Okay. This direction, or this pathway, might lead me nope, to outside, unless they all fucking lead to the TV room. Since I came from to the right, I'll go this way now, just to explore. Tell me I'm dreaming. I don't know if I'm dreaming or not, but everything always leads back to this goddamn TV room. I have to figure out where I'm going. I really want to find out how to get outside again. That might be where I, where I find the last memory or where I have to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where? 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 It can move too, by the way, so you really have to be careful. Like, it'll be over there. Then suddenly... Is he behind me or not? You don't know. The camera fuzzes up because it's somewhere around you. Oh. See, there it is. Hey, goodbye. Just, just, just... Oh, God, it's fast. Shit. Maybe just moving backwards isn't as fast as moving forwards. That could be accurate. Not that way. Fuck that. We're going this way. Fuck you, face. The first time I played this game, I swear to God, there was an outside memory. If I get the last memory... Inside the house, I think I'm doomed to die. I think that is the trick about this game. I might be right. But the only thing is then, how do I get outside? I have to figure that out. I want to pick up that memory. Well, this is new. Outside. But yeah, I swear there's a memory outside. That would be the thing. Won't open. Won't open. Great. Break the window? No. This is the room I last picked up the memory before I restarted the game. And I couldn't find my way out. But this didn't happen before. Peculiar. Alright then, so something about outside being stuck in this room. I have no idea. And honestly, developer, I'm going to ask you, is this just anime girls? Like, there's paintings all over the places and memories. I swear to God, like, the person's avatar is called... It just says Lolicon on it. I swear to God, the person's just some kind of lowly person. The only reason I was able to get outside was likely because I spawned next to the door that led outside. But there was a memory out there. And then I died. Oh god, shit! Oh god, what? 
See, this is why I didn't want to get caught. Oh, fuck. Oh. And the game crashed. Okay. Um, but still, yeah, the point remains, I had to figure out how to get outside, because that's the only way I'm going to actually properly beat this game. I know I found an outside. It's like it's, it's like a weird memory I have where it feels like I didn't find it. It was just a dream. But I know there's a fucking outside, and I know there's a memory out there, and I'm going to fucking find it. So, be right back. Wait, what? Sex offender serving prison time already Wait. has been indicted for the murders of two young sisters 40 years ago. 12-year-old Sheila this Lyon is, and her 10-year-old sister Catherine this is new. were last seen in March of 1975 at a shopping mall near their home in... Uh -oh. I don't like this at all! I just re went in the game and it's completely different. It's like it's continuing off based on what happened the last time. I got caught and some weird shit happened. And now all you see is sparks. I mean, everything I see is obviously what you're seeing, but... This is really intriguing to me, honestly. I mean, I may not look like I'm exaggeratingly... I don't know, peppy and just everywhere, but it's... I'm confused and intrigued at the same time. I want to know why this is happening and what this means and if I can even do anything past this part or if that was just simply the ending of what happened after I collected only a fragment of the memories. Because I think these parts are just I can't do anything. If I get the fifth memory in the house, I'm stuck. If I get four of them and then I get captured, I'm here. So I need to find out, again, the outside, or get three memories and get caught and see if something different happens. So, we'll find out. Alright, oh shit, is that the face? It is the face, but it's just... And you see, look, the anime pictures, I swear to god. It's like there's a prison cell here, and a door. You said you love... Oh, that's the picture. It won't open. Alright, the face disappeared. This is what I was talking about. There is outside, right here. I think. Because I swear I saw this picture before, and this door. Alright, so this is... This is... Different. I need to make sure I don't die this time. Okay, here's a memory. A noose? Great. Just gotta make sure I don't get caught, because... There's my name again! Oh, shit. Um... What does it want me to hang myself? It's locking me in. The only way out is that. Because now this door is locked, and that's where I came from. Mounts. They knew all along. Alright. This game is more interesting than people would think. This does not fucking earn... Fuck it. And the game crashed. It is definitely story-oriented. I don't know, let's get back into it. I have to reopen the goddamn game every time. And hope that my recording footage doesn't get corrupted. Wait, the game's not even starting anymore. I think it... It's finished. Alright, um... It's gonna be weird. Maybe I screwed up to begin with. But I'm going to make a bunch of theories on this. The first time I played the game and died and or got caught and I, I claim to have seen outside is probably because the game, every time you play it and every time you crash, it orients a new section of the story. And I can't go backwards, because every time I now try to open it, it it literally doesn't pop anything up. It is literally denying me of playing the game, so I'm assuming that the story is done. Everything I recorded, except for what I couldn't record, is the story in itself. Of uh, me trying to rebuild the memories, me getting caught, me ending up in prison, or in many analogies of what's going on, a lot of guilt and being trapped inside the house. And the ending being, I hung myself on a noose, and that just was the end of the game. There's a lot of things you could really think about, but honestly, this game deserves you to try it out for yourself. As anyone who loves horror games, I'm going to recommend this to anyone I can. I want people to figure out what the story means, because this game is worth attention. Like This game doesn't deserve being buried by misconceptions. So... I hope people understand and want to actually try this game for themselves. I want this game to be spread out and actually give the developer some fucking credit that he or she deserves. But I hope you enjoyed whatever I could actually play out of this game, unless I can find a way to replay it from the beginning so I can understand it better. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next episode. <coughs>
Certainly not. No. Certainly not. Well then. That's honestly stupid in my mind. Here's to be blocking. Oh god damn it! What the fuck? Mm, I swear I fucking saw that coming. <laughs> 